Leakey wrote to me and said, I picked you because you had not been to university and your brain wasn't, wasn't um, you know, cluttered up with the, the very arrogant way scientists treated animals back then as mere things. Uh, but he said, now I want you to be, uh, to be respected by other scientists, so you must get a degree. But we don't have time for an undergraduate degree. I've got you a place in Cambridge University in England to do a PhD in ethology. Well, I didn't know what ethology meant. So so study and behavior. So you skipped the undergraduate part and you got a PhD. And I was very, very nervous. Um, I could, you can imagine, I'd never been to college. And just imagine what I felt like when I was told uh, by the scientists, well, you, first of all, you shouldn't have given the chimpanzees names. It's if you're a proper scientist, you give them numbers. Then they said, you can't talk about their personalities, their minds, or their emotions. Those are unique to us. They also said, you must not have empathy with your subjects um, because a good scientist is objective. And if you have empathy, you can't be objective, which is rubbish. <laughs> 